What's up travelers? In this video, we're checking out the archeological ruins of the city of Pompeii. You're not gonna wanna miss this. So there's the Napoli train station and bus station. Now here we are in Garibaldi Square. Waiting for my tour to go to the Pompeii ruins. Bucket list today, bucket list. Hell yeah. So excited. Well, we're here. We're at the ruins of Pompeii. Just waiting for the tour to get started. This is gonna be a lot of fun. In about 800 BC, Pompeii was built on some lava flats and it was a port city. In fact, the water came up to where I'm standing right now from the Mediterranean Sea. It turned into a big commercial city and it was a really important place. Unfortunately, it was built in the shadows of Mount Vesuvius, which they didn't realize was a volcano at the time. And then in 79 BC, boom! Mount Vesuvius went off and it was buried in ashes. 65% of Pompeii has been excavated and they're still excavating today. So eventually, probably another 100 years or so, they'll have it all excavated and ready to go for everybody to come and visit. Well, unless Vesuvius goes off again. <laughs> So here you're going to see in the background is Mount Vesuvius. This area here, after it was destroyed by an earthquake, it became a gymnasium for the gladiators to train. Just four kilometers apart from <laughs> Over here is the theater of Pompeii. Fortunately, we don't get to go over there, but we at least get to see it.
the groove of the sliding wooden door that used to be here. Sliding wooden door that we will never see because everything is burned, but the groove is still here. When you see the groove, imagine a shop, never a domus, because uh, for the domus we are gonna see amazing white marble floors and a gate. What well, we have to imagine a gate in bronze. In this case, we have a group, so sliding wooden door shop. <laughs> what kind of shop? In this case, the choice is up to you because I don't know. We don't know that. So keep your imagination strong. Barber shop? Barber. Barber. Fruits? Looks like. Looks like. Okay, perfect. Fruit shop. Yes, this is our Fifth Avenue, my friends. Main street of the city of Pompeii. This is the largest. And I will help you. This is the house of Cornelium. He was a politician in the days of Pompeii. Political propaganda on the walls. <laughs> propaganda. So, so Same stupid process. That we've got here. political nowadays, propaganda on the walls. But nowadays we have the television, mm. social media. We're looking at the red light district of Pompeii. There were five brothels, and this is the only one that we get to visit. GPS system. <laughs> it's an original marble flooring 
over on the sidewalk. It gets to be a little bit better up here. So the penises that you find around uh, Pompeii are designed to point towards the brothels. This is my favorite song, Fountaina, because it's the only one with a beautiful voice. So this is the Temple of Jupiter, and if you look close, way back there, you can actually see the original marble carving of Jupiter's face, which is pretty awesome. So this is the storage area. Keep all the original things that they find here that don't get sent to, out to the museum. So this is a plaster cast of one of the people who actually died here during the eruption. The ash just covered him and then he ended up decaying. And then about a hundred years ago when he was found, they actually filled the, the hole full of uh, plaster, waited a few days, and then chiseled them out. There's a few of these that we're going to see. Unfortunately, we got this one in glass. So we got a little nasty glare on there. That kind of sucks. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the skeleton is still in there. You don't see any original statues here in Pompeii because they've all been taken to museums, but I think those, the one with the little kid and its dog over there, I think that is an original here. So behind the statue of that centaur there is where all the offices of the political figureheads were located. He 
you always knew it was an important place in town if you found marble flooring. And then when you look over here, this is the Basilica. Today's day and age, we know a Basilica is a church, but it comes from the Latin word Basilicas, which meant powerful men. And in the Roman times, the powerful men were the judges. So this is the, the courthouse of Pompeii. And man, I can't even imagine how beautiful this place was. Welcome to the Temple of Apollo. In Italian, we say lunedì, lunedì. We say martedì, mars day. Be sure to subscribe and come back for the second part of the video. We had two days here. Come back and see part two. recent series that we have playing right now on Tasting Travel. And down here is another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe if you already have. And if you're in Seattle,